again, just so everybody knows. I've got Phoenix Fire, who is, um, I guess you'd call him a freak show. He's been all over the world. Yeah, I. Uh, if anybody had seen uh, AMC Freak Show this season, I was on season two. Okay. Um, so went down to California, and we did the taping there. And uh, right now it's uh, on Netflix, and uh, it was on AMC, but now it's on Netflix. So, yeah, you can check me out there, too. So you're a world-famous guy coming to London, Ontario to play at a club and put your life on the line, yeah. and it's only eight bucks to get in. Yeah, well, I'm what actually, kind of I'm very proud, actually, to say that I am from London and that I travel the world, but I'm based out of London. I'm, uh, I really, I, I enjoy the city a lot, so it's, I, I'm very proud to call it my home. Okay, and you have a few tricks that you are going to yeah, perform actually. for the people on air. Like, we've got cameras going on yeah, in here. Yeah, actually, uh, we can uh, show a few things of what's in store for tomorrow. Um, basically, uh, start off a pair of scissors here. Uh, where we got the camera right over there. So, basically, a nice pair of scissors here. And mm -hmm. um, that looks painful. Oh, well, everybody knows when you have scissors, you're supposed to open them, right? Yeah, tender. Oh, um,. Should we give a play-by-play uh, -play here? Phoenix Fire just put up a small pair of scissors up his nose and opened them and then pulled them out. Uh, yeah. They were up his nose at least two inches. Yeah, well, <laughs> everybody knows uh, the saying, uh, well, we've all heard it as guys, that bigger is better. Uh, uh, this is a much larger... Yeah, much larger pair. They look like they got a blade about three inches long. Um, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't run with them because they could be dangerous. But for those, uh, yeah, one end of the scissors is going up his nose all the way, and um, yeah. yeah, you can see it on the Ustream right now. I don't, if you want to, um, there is a bit of blood there. Oh, we have blood. Yeah, there's going to be blood. So anyways, uh, you know, that's kind of uh, the, you know, that's the minor stuff that I do. Um, my show, that's actually the, how I start off my show is... Uh, you know, starting off with a pair of tweezers, it goes bigger and bigger. By the end of the show, it's just a big finale. One of the fun things I, I do, did you want me to do a uh, light bulb right now while we're doing here? Um, or we want to wait for that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got the camera here, so I'm yeah. sure he wants to see it now. So, so he doesn't have to stand around all the time. So basically, I'm going to hand this over to you. Here, we'll do that. That's a real light bulb. You want to uh, check that make sure that's real? Can I'm just going to lean over. You won't hear me for a second. All right. You can make sure that's real, and I'll prepare over here. I'm holding up what I believe is a real light bulb. Uh, it's like your standard incandescent lamp. Um, I don't know how many watts. It's very clear. You've got to go for 100 watts. The good, you know, it's good calories. So. Yeah, it is 100 watt, 120-volt yeah. bulb, standard here in Canada. Um, I'm going to hand this back to Phoenix Fire. Thank you. So what I'm going to do is actually, uh, Tyler, can I get you to hold the hammer there for a second? Yeah, buddy. So I'm going to wrap it up here, and you guys want to make sure I'm going to do this so you don't see me do any hand, sleight of hand or anything, okay? What I'm going to do is take this light bulb, I'm going to take this hammer. Oh, so that's a light bulb popping. What I'm going to do is, uh, Tyler, you're going to make sure I don't do any sleight of hand here. Pick a number between one and three. Three. Three, you want to go for three. So here three pieces of glass. Uh, I, I didn't know that. What, that's what the three. number would be for. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, uh, usually I pick four, but everybody picks three. It's a funny thing when you're on stage. So what I'm going to do is put the pieces of glass in my mouth. Once again, no sleight of hand. So that light bulb is gone. 
those sounds that you could hear, I turned the mic up a little bit. Uh, I cheated, but no, that that was real. That was he ate three pieces of glass from that light bulb, hundred watt. And how do you feel now, t um, Phoenix? Uh, I feel that's uh, just normal day, actually. You eat a lot of light bulbs. Um, it's one of those uh, acts that everybody kind of really wants to see all the time. Um, <laughs> it's one of my staples. Uh, so. But yeah, it, uh, when I'm doing promoting, it really sounds, as you can hear, it sounds really good in the studio. So. It, it does. It had that night. <laughs> so you, you've got some little crumbs uh, yeah, in between. Yeah, it, it gets stuck in your teeth. Uh, so you kind of got to play around. The whole show, I usually, for, you know, depending on my set, you can hear me every once in a while, I'll just do a little crunch. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it, something I learned. It was one of the first tricks I learned way back. I've been doing this for about uh, 14 years now. And one of the first tricks I learned, uh, stunts, and uh, it's from basically, it's uh, I keep it on, I do it in every show. It's one of my, my things I enjoy doing. Okay. Um, from a dental, your <laughs> dentist, what does he think about finding pieces of glass in between your teeth when you go in for a checkup? Uh, well, my those are the one things you don't really say that you do. But no, oh. actually, I, I, <laughs> uh, I've never had a cavity in my life, so... Um, I guess I have really strong teeth. I um, oh. actually one show just recently. Uh, I uh, broke my. I have a permanent retainer in my mouth for uh, from uh, from my uh, uh, had braces uh, and uh, so I broke my permanent retainer wire. But that's about it. Uh, the only issue I've had. So. Wow, what kind of toothpaste do you use so I can <laughs> uh, get the same kind? <laughs> Yeah, I, um, I don't know if you people, any of you people saw that on Ustream, and we had some people taking pictures of Phoenix Fire eating a, a good portion of a light bulb, yeah. the glass portion, and he's going to be doing that tomorrow night at Gordy's Brew House. And more. <laughs> that's the part that scares me, the <laughs> and more. Um, we're going to have to take a short break for commercials, and we're going to come back and play a, a song by a band called Giggle Switch. This is the band... Um, before Cross the Streams were Cross the Streams, they were actually called Giggle Switch. Some of the members were on this. So that'll give you a little bit of the idea of uh, 